Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Brawl Stars Twitter. I've recently grown an obsession of actually interacting with my peers. Lately, I've been enjoying this way more than uh, Reddit videos, but we'll go back to Reddit soon. I just am having fun right now. So what you just heard is a voice line from the new brawler. She moans a lot. That is something that we have come to realize. And I just, uh, I felt like that was a good introduction to the video. But hey, how about we look at Ash's ranking of all the hypercharges? Maybe it's better than me ranking them because clearly I never know what I'm talking about. So let's just see how he ranked them. Cordelius number one, which makes sense. Uh, Primo and Buzz at four stars. BB at three stars, unfortunately. I want BB to be broken so then I can play her without feeling bad. But since she has hypercharge in the first place, she's probably not bad anymore. And then we have Bells and Sprouts at one star. So I've been seeing a lot of people say that like Sprouts is only good in heist if you use it on the safe but Sprout is not a good brawler in Heist, so there's no point. And besides that, most of the time you're gonna be putting up walls to block an area, so nobody's gonna walk there anyways. What could have been better for Sprout is making them invincible. And uh, yeah, Bells is utterly useless. It doesn't even home in that well. <laughs> I can actually show you a clip on that. Here we go, it's a clip from Brawl Bruce. Uh, watch this, it actually doesn't do anything. <laughs> Aim it right next to the bot and Oh, it hurts. Maybe it'll be different in actual gameplay, but I thought that was really funny. Name something more useless. Man, I, I should have brought this up. I mean, it probably wouldn't have changed anything, but yeah, this one is just not good. Considering you only get it one time a match, marking somebody with this super should make your main attacks home in on them. I think that would make a lot more sense and it would actually make it more useful. But in its current state, it really doesn't help. So I guess there's a new strategy with El Primo's hypercharge where you put a meteor down and pull everybody into it and it's literally a free hit because they can't escape it. It's pretty broken, but it's a cool combo. I like to see stuff that you can actually just like combo together in this game because usually that doesn't work. And apparently El Primo also got buffs along with getting hypercharged so i feel like he's gonna be the meta brawler this update huge news you can sort your brawlers alphabetically now pretty cool i'm actually probably gonna use that and here you can also sort your brawlers by closest to next mastery which is gonna be useful if you just want some rewards or i don't know you just want to push a mastery then you can see who's really close and finish that push right there now let's talk about melody because uh, this brawler is really cool and i didn't even know why i didn't think about this but this brawler can go really far with the ball so you could do stuff like this that crying man shows where you just double dribble 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 and put it straight in that's gonna be so sick i'm actually gonna love this we got some more melody highlights like you're gonna be able to do some of the wackiest trick shots with this brawler especially because her dash is so far it actually works perfectly okay i don't know what that was supering the ball to yourself that was kind of pointless but the rest of it was really nice like yeah dude this is gonna be a really really fun brawler like look at that dribble the fact that her dashes this far just makes that possible. Most definitely gonna be everywhere in Brawl Ball, but I am all there for it. So this clip from Ash is against bots, right? But Doug no longer has damage fall off. And I think that also increases his supercharge rate. I'm not entirely sure if that's the case, but he does more damage and he does more healing now in general. So he might just be unkillable once he gets up to people. I think his problem is gonna be when you can't approach people, which is gonna be most of the time besides in like Brawl Ball, but I feel like once you get up to people, he will never die. You might just permanently respawn for the whole game as long as you have somebody to shoot. So maybe Doug will be broken. I had no idea which brawlers were being given physics in the new update because they added physics to like people's uh, clothing and, and whatnot, but Chester has some crazy physics right here with his hat and I love it. It's so nice. This also works with like Shelly's hand, her hair. Even Mortis's cape now has physics, so it doesn't look stiff anymore. So when you flip around, the cape is actually gonna like move accordingly. Here we got some more physics. It even works on skins like Lunar Janet. So even these like niche things are being included in this new physics animation thing, which I, I'm just all for it, bro. I'm excited to just have this quality of life in my game. I don't know what happened here, but Poco lost his face paint for some reason. So, well, specifically CCTV Poco. It's all gone besides his eyes. Nobody really noticed this until the update came out because uh, nobody clicked on Poco. There was no reason to. And it's still a good skin. It's just missing something. A little non Brawl Stars related post, but uh, I don't know what happened to the Las Vegas sphere. <laughs> if this is even real, <laughs> it probably isn't. But I thought this looked funny and I just hope it's real. That the whole sphere is such a crazy concept though. Like I couldn't even imagine seeing it in real life. I, I would feel like I'm dreaming. I love this clip. First team goes in with their jump pad, but the other team... <laughs> 
Oh, it's unlucky. <laughs> it hurts. Poor Rosa. Oh yeah, this is the best part of the update. As they say, the torture is over. You can now skip the animation when receiving power points. That just makes this the best update of the century, man. I don't know what update removed the ability to skip it because we used to be able to, but whatever update removed the ability to do that was the worst update. And just in case you haven't seen it yet, here is my own tweet about being able to do that. It is just so incredible. This would have taken so much longer if I couldn't skip these power points. Oh yeah, they added this tip to the game. Never share your supercell id security codes keep your account safe from scammers there was just a wave of people getting scammed by this where somebody will just ask them for their supercell id code and then they just give it to them and expect like gems or something listen i don't know how that happens maybe if i'm still a kid i would have fallen for it who knows but that's just wild to me if you tried playing the game right after the update came out you might have noticed this but the game just uh wasn't really working at first i was doing fine but then suddenly i couldn't enter a game no matter what i did so the, it just wasn't working people had to end their streams like it, it was just bad and then later on they figured out that the hypercharge unleash was the problem so now that's gone and i can't play that i have not played a single match of that mode which uh sucks because i wanted to try it for a video but i'll have to wait it seems to be a common thing with updates i think there might be too many people playing the game now clash mini might be going global really soon meaning i might start content on it if it's actually a good game i've heard some bad things about it like monetary wise that you have to spend like hundreds of dollars just to unlock like the new thing that comes out which is really bad but maybe it won't be as bad as i think it is but i doubt i'll actually be spending money on the game in general i might just give it a try if it goes global i've been hearing that they're doing a similar thing to brawl stars where they're like hyping up whether it's gonna go global or not and that just means that it's gonna go global because if it has enough players and people care enough then they're not gonna hype it up they're not gonna make it a surprise because most of the time when they kill their games it's just like they do a couple play tests and then they're like eh, nope it's not continuing so the fact that it's been going for this long is a really good sign also guys i have a problem i have way too much bling i don't know if anybody has more than me but i have not found a single thing to purchase with it besides player icons that i will never use and pins that i will also never use especially because i'm already getting it from star drops and i couldn't find a single skin that i can buy with this because i i own all them but i stopped actually buying skins that i don't need so i'm kind of lost of what to do with my bling I just need to wait for a skin to come out that I can actually buy with it. I think I can buy Squeaky Note when that's available in 14 days. So maybe I'll do that. But I already have Nerd Squeak, so I'll never use the skin. I will never be able to <laughs> claim Blink on my account ever again. But yeah, that's going to do it for Twitter Brawl Stars Part 2. I just feel like this series is a little bit more personal and a little bit more like well-formed because I already know what I'm going to be talking about rather than just scrolling through and being like, oh, ah, hey, it's like I, I know what I'm going to be showing you guys so as long as things stay interesting on twitter then maybe i'll continue this series but yeah that's gonna do it go follow me and i'll see you later goodbye guys